Hendrik de Klerk's Venus and Adonis, a tragic tale of love and loss. Hendrik de Klerk was a Flemish painter who specialized in mythological and allegorical scenes. He was influenced by the Italian Renaissance style and often collaborated with other artists to create large-scale compositions. One of his works is Venus and Adonis, a painting that illustrates the doomed romance between the goddess of love and the mortal hunter. The painting, which dates from around 1600, is an oil on canvas that measures 66 by 86 centimeters. It is currently part of the collection of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. The painting depicts the moment before Adonis leaves Venus to go hunting, despite her warnings of the danger he faces. Venus, partially robed in yellow, embraces Adonis, draped in pink and wearing a flesh-colored armor. She tries to persuade him to stay with her, but he is eager to join his hounds in the chase. Cupid, the god of love and son of Venus, sleeps at her feet, holding a bow and arrow. His slumber symbolizes the futility of Venus's love and the inevitability of Adonis's death. The story of Venus and Adonis is derived from the Roman poet Ovid's Metamorphoses, a collection of tales about transformations in nature and mythology. According to Ovid, Venus was wounded by one of Cupid's arrows and fell in love with Adonis, a handsome youth who was born from a myrrh tree. She taught him the arts of hunting and warned him not to pursue the fiercest beasts, such as lions and boars. However, one day, Adonis ignored her advice and encountered a wild boar, which gored him with its tusks. Venus heard his cries and rushed to his side, but it was too late. She sprinkled his blood with nectar and turned it into a flower, the anemone, which blooms every spring as a reminder of their love. Hendrik de Klerk's painting is a masterful example of the human figure in the fashionable Italian style. He presents the lovers as artfully proportioned and elegantly posed semi-nudes, their luminous bodies contrasted with the dark background of foliage. He uses bright colors and delicate brush strokes to create a sense of movement and emotion. He also adds details that enhance the narrative, such as the armor that Adonis wears, which suggests his heroic but reckless nature, and the flowers that adorn Venus's hair, which foreshadow the anemone that will grow from his blood. The painting is a visual representation of the theme of love and tragedy, which was popular among the artists and patrons of the time.